This is something quite special for EP3 case swap DC5 owners that together with Haltech and Racing Circuits, we've been able to do something that's not been done before and it's going to give us a really nice alternative to things like K-Pro. So an affordable ECU solution, high-end ECU solution for, uh, for your cars with all the expandability and all the bits and pieces, similar money for K-Pro. It's going to be pretty much a game changer as far as the ECUs are concerned. What we've got is an entry-level Haltech Elite 550. Now this is the ECU that's been used on little four-cylinder cars for years. Um, because of the expandability on it, it's quite limited. But working with Haltech um, and some pretty trick um, firmware updates, the bit that's actually stopped us always using them on the K-series cars is having no control for VTEC and VVT. Um, we've got it now. Not only that, the other thing with aftermarket ECUs is it was pretty limited as to what you could use to actually drive the multiplex output to actually get temperature gauge output. As you can see, temperature gauge there's working and it's showing 77 degrees. So that's a first. That's quite a trick little module that's going to be unique to ourselves uh, working in partnership with uh, racing circuits. It won't be available anywhere else. Um, so Got the ECU, got base mapping. Starts, runs, absolutely fine. Um, to show you the VVT working, we've got on the table here. So this is where we're targeting the, um, the cam angle, and you can see the graph there. So at the moment, we're sitting there at zero degrees. Absolutely spot on. Like I was saying, it's a bit of a game changer this when you can get one of the best available ECU systems that's plug and play with the harness for the same money as a K Pro. And not only that, uh, we've got the CAN expandability with it that we can then run if you wanted to and you didn't want to use this dash because this is specifically for people that have uh, stock cars. People with a stock, e stock car, stock ECU, stock dash, so everything works on it. Um, for people that want to run digital dashes, bits and pieces like that on race cars, cam pad input so we can run more functionality. We can run the IO expanders um, with more functions and bits and pieces, so it'll be perfect for race cars. We could probably do things like um, sequential boxes, bits and pieces. With the new software that's coming out for the IC7s, uh, with the um, race setup on it, we'll be able to do um, track logging, uh, lap times and bits and pieces on that as well. Um, also the IC7 will operate as an expander so we can actually run extra inputs and outputs straight to that, program straight to the ECU for protections like oil pressure, oil temperature, um, basically anything we want. All in a 550. All in a 550. I'll put more details up on the website fairly soon but like I say it's been a project, long time in the work this. Um, and it's nice to actually have it up and running.